Good afternoon, Mayor Natchew here, bringing you highlights of the March 23rd Sturgeon County Council meeting. A full recap is posted below as well. A great deal of this meeting focused on how we work together as a region. We looked at intermunicipal collaboration frameworks, intermunicipal development plans, and intermunicipal recreation agreements. It's a mouthful just to say, and the process has been even larger and longer. We value our relationships with Bonacord, Gibbons, Legal, Redwater, and Morinville, so the work was worthwhile. It was also a requirement from the province to make these various agreements, but it's given us an opportunity to understand our neighbors' perspectives and to work together to build a healthier community and a stronger region. These agreements will provide clarity when negotiating on matters, especially when it comes to fire services and recreation. Sturgeon County is committed to paying its fair share for the services accessed by our residents. The recreation agreements alone, for example, are worth over $2 million annually. Going forward, methods to track data on resident usage will be used to prepare for 2025 when we renegotiate these agreements. We are also developing specific processes for a gated approach to guide any future decisions on collaborations on facilities or services. On Tuesday, Council also gave first reading to the Resource Extraction Regulatory Review Bylaw. This is the first step to adopt a new regulatory model for sand and gravel extraction in Sturgeon County. It's important to know that this is still very much a work in progress and there are still many opportunities to hear from residents on this issue. A public hearing is being scheduled and this will be the next chance for you to talk to Council publicly, but you can reach out to us at any time. More details about this meeting will be shared soon, but you can find out more on this issue at sturgeoncounty.ca slash resource extraction. And finally, Council also adopted a new tax installment payment plan bylaw to provide a more flexible approach for people who wish to pay property taxes in a monthly installment rather than a single payment each year. The bylaw also now includes a provision to allow a one-time agreement for penalty deferral for a current year tax penalty imposed if they meet the conditions of the agreement. This change was considered in light of the economic challenges faced by many due to COVID. More information about this is in development and will be made available soon. Before I end, I'd like to encourage residents to consider joining one of the county's boards. There are opportunities on the Economic Development Board, the Transportation Advisory Committee, and as well as the brand new Agribusiness and Agritourism Review Task Force. For more information on this, visit sturgeoncounty.ca slash getonboard. Currently, we have 15 active COVID cases in Sturgeon County, and there is a combined total of 723 in the Edmonton zone. Since January, hospitalizations in Alberta have leveled off, but are now increasing, with the potential to reach and exceed 300 within the week. People under the age of 65 now account for 46% of those in hospital and 88% of those in ICU. Please continue to follow Alberta Health Services protocols. I'll see you after next council meeting that will be held on April 13th. Thank you and take care of yourself.